I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the bold and the beautiful edition, guys. Um, today is Wednesday, January the 4th, 2023. On a scale of one to ten, y'all tell me what you think in the comments. I don't know. Um, on one hand, it was you know, it was cool, it was cool, but it wasn't anything that I'm just like memorable. You know what I mean? So I guess I'll give it a six. Is that too harsh? Y'all tell me. All right, let's get into this. We see Bill as well as um, Steffi. He tells Steffi, you know, well, actually, Bill is doing, Steffi is doing all the talking. Y'all know how sometimes they do where they have uh, um, the women. I, I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes they have the women just do all this talking, 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 talking. And then the men will say like a one what. Like you saw it with Ridge where Brooke is just like, say something because he's not talk talking. And then when they were trying to get him back to go before, you know, before he went home the first time when Hope was trying to talk to him and it was like, he doesn't say anything. Y'all need to work on that dialogue. <laughs> but who am I to talk? But anyways, so finally she's just like, I'm glad you came to your senses. I'm glad you understand that Sheila's no good and she needs to spend she needs to spend the rest of her days in prison. She needs to be behind bars for the rest of her life. And Bill tells Steffi, I'm gonna cut to the chase. He said, Listen, I understand Sheila. She's done some messed up things. She's hurt some people and it was bad. And she was like, yes. And he said, so have I. And she said, Bill, it's not the same. She said, now I, I, I'm looking at you. You know, I'm looking at you and I see that you're a bit, you've been hurt by Katie and Brooke. But you understand why? She said, and I'm sorry they can't love you like that. And I'm sorry even I have hurt you. I'm sorry for all that. But please, Bill, please um, don't do this. Don't help Sheila. And he says, Steffi, I need a woman like Sheila. She understands me and she gets me and, and I can't hurt her. I cannot hurt her. If I do something wrong, it won't be like, oh my God, you hurt me so bad. I got to leave you. Like they got going over there on Days of Our Lives with Sarah and Zenda. I told y'all they didn't need to be together, but that's another soap. But he's like, I can't hurt her. Like nothing I do will hurt her. I could cheat on this woman and she'd be like, don't do it again. You know what I mean? I could I could kidnap someone and she'll be like, let me help you with this. You know, did you feed him? You know, she's just like, I will help you with this. He can't, he he won't hurt her feelings and and she won't balk at him. Like no matter how low he sinks, um, she's not going to leave him. And oh yeah, Bill started thinking back about you know, when Sheila told him she loved him and remember why he's wearing that necklace. And so Steffi said, Bill, I just need to understand. And I just need, she just needs confirmation that you will not turn my mother in. Bill, don't do this. And he says, look at here, Steffi. I'm going to do this. So if you turn Sheila in, because she's not going to prison, I'm going to help her. If you turn Sheila in, well, your mama going to prison. It's just says, Bill. <laughs> what are y'all commenting? Oh my God. They be having Steffi looking with those eyes at the end of everything. And why the hell Steffi do it again today? I said, why are y'all like this? <laughs> but she did. That was like, you could have said something in those minutes and then y'all went off. They always go to their eyes. Oh, child, let me move on. Then we see uh, Lee with Finn, right? And she came over, baby. Lee is stepping. Hey, she's happy. She's happy. She was locked up and she's happy. She said, I had to come over here and celebrate the good news. She was locked up and Finn can't tell her what's really going on, which is that he don't know if she was really locked up, locked up forever. She said, but she going to be where she needs to be behind bars. And, oh, we could thank Bill. He done saved us again. He sent you to Monica, Monte Carlo and then he turned around, you know, he helped me out when Sheila had, you know, shot y'all, ran me off the road, and now he was the one to turn Sheila in. I mean, that darn bill, and I said, Nolly, <laughs> your time is fast. Me, I don't want you no more. <laughs> that little relationship that I was hoping to see coming to fruition, is that that's not happening anymore. But anyway, so uh, Finn is looking like, whew, you just don't know. But anyway, so they started, they flash back to where um, Sheila came in on the room on her and she was tussling with Sheila and then she ran to a car and she got ran off the road um, and everything. I said, now Lee, you lost because you, well, I think Sheila a little bump. You gave a little bump, bump. But <laughs> you were telling everybody else you just lost control. 
<laughs> but she did run you off the road, girl. You know she love my girl, but so are you, Lee. So stop singing Bill's praises because he don't want you, girl. But anyways, Finn is just like, oh, gosh, you're my real mom, and I'm glad she's behind bars, and, you know, she can't hurt my family. But on the inside, he's also like, ooh, I don't know what's really happening. So anyways, y'all, we go over here to Sheila. And Sheila is talking to, uh, say they, you know, her guard tell her, you got a visit. And she said, oh. And then Mike comes through and Mike said, girl, it's good to see you. <laughs> he said, I, I hate you didn't get away. You know, and you ended up back here. But you know, I love you, girl. So I'm happy to see you. And Sheila said, uh-uh, Mike. <laughs> I'm not going to be here with you. I said, first of all, Mike, you acting like you could just go down to this woman's cell and see her anytime you want to. No. Why are y'all even y'all baby? It is the soaps. <laughs> it is the soaps, y'all. Um, so, anyways, Mike says, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy you're here. You know, I hate this happening to you, but we're gonna be together because you know, you know how I feel about you. And she said, Mike, I'm not gonna be here long. And he said, What do you mean by that? And so then they started talking and reminiscing and, and just talking about, you know, um, he wished he could have helped her more. And, and you know, she, you know, he always going to be there to help her. She said, well, what can you give me right now? And he said, well, you know, I'm a little, I'm locked up with you right now. So I can't do too much, but he can give his love and support. And she's saying, she didn't tell him this, but I heard it. I don't want that, sir. I need freedom. And so she said. She was start thinking about Bill or whatever. And so she pretty much telling Mike, yeah, yeah, that's sweet, honey. <laughs> Going back to your cell. I don't need you. That's what I heard. And so Mike is just like, oh, Sheila, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to my cell and I'm going to think about you. I said, sir, get out this chair and go, <laughs> and go on. Go on, but he he did ask her like, "What do you mean you gonna um get out of here?" And she says he was like, "You shouldn't bust loose, Sheila. Like they already mad at you, so they gonna be watching you. So I don't think you should try to escape again." She said, "Oh, I'm gonna walk out of here. I don't have to escape." But she don't tell Mike her plans because she can't tell nobody because you know Mike love her. So if he find out she messing with Bill or something, Mike might turn her in. So yeah, Sheila keep that on the low low. So anyway, so Mike leaves and Sheila's still there. She's like, "What I'm still doing here?" And he said, "You got another visitor. You popular." today baby why lee come in here i said now miss lee miss lee now you remember what happened the last time you came in here you got the sheila escaped that same few days so i don't understand why you're here again and she said i had to come see sheila in her natural habitat I said, oh and so sheila said oh well it's good to see you lee and lee said no it's no 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 it's good to see you where you belong behind bars and you're not getting out. And Sheila said, uh-uh. And that's what you think. She said, no one's happier than me to see you like this. And she and Sheila told her, well, I think Steffi would be happy. She said, so is my son. <laughs> and Sheila was like, our son. She, and Lee told um, Sheila, that makes it even more despicable that you did what you did to him and me and everyone. Like, <laughs> But you're not going to have anything to do with him. And you're going to be here for a long time. And she was just like, mm-hmm. And she started laughing. I said, oh, she got pretty teeth. But she started laughing and stuff. I said, Lee, get out of here. <laughs> get out of there, Lee. Now, I do like, you know, Sheila, my girl, but I do like you. And, baby, when Sheila gets to laughing like that and stuff, she already got something up her sleeve. So I don't know. Wait a minute, y'all. Was it Bill? Remember we said Sheila was outside somebody's house. Was it Bill's house she was outside all that time? Somebody had said in the comments they thought it was Bill's place. And I had told them, I don't know. I thought it was Brooks, baby. You were right. It was Bill's place. But anyways, y'all, that's uh, the bold and the beautiful today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I don't know how I made this video nine minutes. I kind of just was... You know. Anyways, don't forget to like, sub subscribe, and uh, comment on the video. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Bold and the Beautiful edition. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.